Okay, uh, good morning. Um, uh, our lesson for this week is about down payment, gross balance, current increase balance, and solve interest and commissions. So, for the past week, uh, we discussed about commission. Wherein we have three types of commission. The first one is the state commission, the graduated commission, and the salary plus commission. For in state commission means these are the commission that is paid once, once only. So once lang siya. So it's, uh, kapag nakuha yung total sales, it should be uh, computed. Ko compute niyo and then that will be your state commission. And as a graduated naman, so there are certain commissions kapag nakuha yung quota and then kapag nag over quota pa and then you add your, then you will get your total commissions and then the salary plus commissions naman ito yung uh, above from your basic salary pag nakumo yung quota mo sa sales so there is a commission pa added commission pa added commission pa um, aside from your basic salary so those are commissions so those commissions are uh, mas maitindihan niyo yung commissions yun dito sa second topic natin. So, meron siyang kinalaman dito sa second sa, sa this week topic natin. So, let us uh, give you an overview of nung patuloy ninyo na kailangan ninyong sagutan. Okay? So, ang inyong matututunan for this week is to compete for down payment, the gross balance, and current increase balance. And then, you also oh, solve problems involving interest and commissions. Then, um, at the end, so you have your what I know, and then yung what's in, okay, try nyo kung, um, kung ako complete nyo to, this is your, um, uh, lesson last week, and then the what's new, to yung lesson natin ngayon, to yung mga parang three test ninyo, and then this is your discussion, ito yung discussion natin, so, so discussion natin, Okay, um, let us discuss first um, the down payment. So, down payment is the first payment that one makes when he or she buys something with an agreement to pay the rest later. Pag sinabing down payment, ito yung babayar mo pauna bago mo makuha yung binti mo. Then, yung natitira, yun yung babayaran mo by monthly. Example niya, Mrs. Hudson wanted the car that it's an 80% down payment. So the car that she wanted cost three million and five hundred thousand. How much should she pay? So kung makikita niyo three million five hundred thousand, you know the plan is a point eighteen. Because the eighteen percent, you move mo one two. Kita natin na. For example, three thousand three million five hundred thousand. Okay, times mo sa point. 18. So, 18% siya magiging point 18. Mag-umbos ka lang. So, ang magiging sagot mo ay 630,000. So, 630,000 is your down payment. So, tignan natin sa calculator kung tama ang sagot natin. Three thousand, three million five hundred thousand. Three hundred, three million five hundred thousand times point eighteen. Eight times point eighteen equals. No, no, wait, no. Mali ako. Three million five hundred thousand. Times point eighteen is equal to six hundred thirty thousand. So that is your um down payment to build the car. So kung bibili ka ng car ko installment, magta down ka. That is your down payment, which is six hundred thirty thousand. Then next, the gross balance. It refers to the total amount of bank money of bank on the on the bank has on deposit before adjusting for interest checks or deposit, as well as the reserve requirements. It's also a measure of what the bank has on hand before adding or subtracting regulatory obligations. 
and items that will soon appear on its books. It can also be called a book balance. So, sa ano kasi sa isang passbook or sa isang ATM account, for example, ang iyong uh, balance ngayon ay nasa 10,000. So, that is your book balance, 10,000. Yan yung araw na to, nag-deposit to ka, kaso check ang dineposit mo ng 5,000. So, hindi pa automatic magiging 15,000 ang total nun. Why? Kasi i-clear pa yung check. May clearing check, may, 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 may clearing of check, check tayo. Minsan yung bank ko, one day, minsan three days, depende kung ilang days yung clearing ng check na yun. So, after na clearing check, doon palang madadagdag, doon sa book balance mo. Kaya minsan, huwag ka magtataka na, o, nagdeposit to ako, bakit 10,000 pa din, o? Why is it not 15,000? Yun po yung, ah, uh, yun yung ibig sabihin mo. So, assume, uh, example to, ah, uh, assuming that you have a total of 30,000 on your card, and you deposited this day check that amounts 10,000, so your bank book currently contains 40,000. May share to 40,000 doon, but, can only withdraw 30,000 until tomorrow. Bakit? Kasi may clearing of check na. Hindi pa automatic papasok yung 10,000 na dineposit mo. So, yon ay yung gross balance. Your gross balance is the 30,000. Yun yung pwede mo lang na i-withdraw. Okay. So, next, continue to the increase balance. It refers to the total amount you have to pay that includes penalty or interest incurred by unpaid balance from a loan or payment you are supposed to have made but was not able to do so. Okay. Ito yung mga um, mag increase yung balance mo dahil hindi ka nakapagbayad ng tama na nakaraang month. So it means magkakaroon ka ng penalty or interest. Example niyan. The due for this month credit card is 2-5. Okay. So, ang babayaran mo sa itong month sa credit card mo, 2-5. And the bank requires a payment of 5% minimum. Dahil wala kang pera, para hindi ma para hindi ka masira sa credit card mo, you will only pay the minimum, which is 5% minimum ng 2-5. Ngayon, if the cardholder only pays the minimum, she will get an additional penalty of 2%. Okay. How much will be the increased balance? Okay, ito. Kapag daw, nagbayad ka na ng 5% minimum, the next month, magpe-penalty ka ng 2%. That will be your payment. Okay. So, tinan natin, ha. Yung sagot niya. Discuss natin. So, 2,500 times 0.05. Okay. So, 125 ang iyong, ah, uh, ito. So, 2,500 okay, times 0 0.05 So, 125 ang babayaran mo na minimum. Ito yung babayaran mo ngayong, ngayong, ano na to, ngayong buwan. Ngayon, kung ang balance mo ay 2,5 minus mo yung 125, less mo yun. So, magiging balance mo the next month will be 2,375. Okay. Ngayon, Kung babayaran mo yan the next time, madadagdag din ang penalty. So, ang babayaran mo the next month is multiplied by 0 0.02 dahil may 2% penalty, 47.50 plus yung 2,375. So, ang babayaran mo sa susunod ay 2,422.50. So, in short, ang nadagdag lang Ang nabawas lang sa yung utang ay 77.50 lang. Nakuna ko niyo po ba? Yun lang ang, na, yun lang ang nabawas. Doon sa, kasi nga, nagbabayad ka lang ng minimum. So, kumikita pa rin yung bako nun sa iyo. Kasi hindi ka nagbabayad ng full payment. So, that is the cost uh, kung pakapag nangyari, minimum lang ang binabayad mo nag-a-additional nag ka pa ng penalty the next month. Kaya hindi ka nagbayad dun sa, dun sa mismo main balance mo. Okay, next. The interest. Yun nga. Interest is the in, uh, interest equals to PRT. Okay, interest equals to the principal times the rate 
times the time or the years or the months kung ilan mo, kung ilan mo siya babayaran and then maturity value is equals to the interest plus the principal amount pag sinabing maturity value ito yung babayaran mo na kasama na yung interest example Molly Hopper borrowed money worth 36,000 per annum with an interest rate of 12% per month for 6 months how much is the interest how much will be the maturity value okay sa so, ganito yan kung mapapansin ninyo ang iniram daw niyang pera ay 36,000 that is the pera that is the principal sabihin yan ang inutang mo ngayon kung mangungutang ka, mag-i-interest yan, syempre. Ano, kikitahin nung, ano, nung pinag-utangan mo. So, i-interestan niya. So, ang kanyang interest ay, magkano? 12% or 0.12. So, 36 times 0.12, ang magiging interest niya ay, 36,000 times 0.12, ang magiging interest niya ay 4,320. Okay. That will be your interest. Ang laki, no? Oh. And you are paying it for 6 months. Ang sabi niya, babayaran mo daw siya for 6 months. So, every month, tutubo yun ng 12%, yung 36,000 mo. Eh ngayon, kukumpitin mo na lahat kasi nga, you will look for the maturity. So, 4,320 times 6, dahil 6 months mo siya, good for 6 months mo siyang babayaran, times 6, yun tayo, okay, times 6, so, ang iyong um, interest ay, Okay. So, dahil 6 months siya, di ba? 4,320 times 6. I-divide mo pa yan ng 12. Dahil for the one year. Okay. Kasi malaki siya interest kapag di mo siya divide sa 12. So, kung mapapansin mo, ulitin natin. 4,320 times 6 is equals 25. Divided by 12. So, magiging 2,160 per month ang iyong magiging monthly ayan, ito o ngayon ang principal niya for example babayaran mo siya okay babayaran mo siya na rin naka 1 month ka lang so 2,160 plus the 36,000 So, magkano yan? So, ipa-plus mo si 36,000. Kung magbabayad ka ng buo ngayon, ng month na to, na the next month pala, ang mature value niya ay 38,160. So, that is your, ano, that is your um, mature value for the next month. Eh, paano ma'am kung ano? Paano ma'am kung, ah, uh, tawag dito kung hindi ko pa siya babayaran sa susunod eh di magdadagdagan yun naga additional ka na no? so yun yung interest mo 2,160 okay so commission naman, ito yung commission na kinumpute natin before since we already tackled commission so ito yung ano natin discussion natin, so Mr. Lestrade works in a commission only shop in Bataan His boss gave him 5% commission in every sale he can make. So, he happened to sell a washing machine worth 25,000. How much is this commission for this? So, same lang ng computation natin before. So, commission rate times mo, 5% is equal to 0.05. So, ang total sales niya ay 25,000. So, 25,000 times 0.05, ang commission niya ay 1,250. So, we discussed it already last week. So, yun po. Yun lang po ang inyong lesson for this week. So, yun lang ang, uh, yun lang ang ating uh, lagawin. You will compute 
okay? For the down payment, the gross balance, the increased balance, <coughs> and the interest, and the commission. So, yun po yung mga uh, gagawin nyo. Yun, yun yung mga ikokomplete nyo. So, ito yung uh, kasagutan nyo, what's more, and then the what I have learned, and then what I can do, okay, titinan nyo, kukomplete nyo yan, okay, kukomplete nyo yung interest, yung rate, so ano lang to, trans, uh, itatranspose nyo lang yan, okay, pwede kayong, itatranspose nyo lang yung, um, yung formula, and then, the assessment, ayan, and then, yung additional activities. Okay. So, yun po yung mga gagawin ninyo for this uh, module. So, I hope na medyo na liwanagang kayo. So, if you have any question, you may message me doon sa GC natin. Sa GC po tayo magbe-message, hindi po mag-PPM. Personally, sa GC, para at least, ibang concerns ninyo, makita din ng ibang class. Ito na malay nyo, pareho lang yung concerns ninyo. So, yun po, and then, um, just message me, and then don't forget to answer your long quiz and your performance. State learn nyo po yun, pagsamahin nyo, para hindi magkahiwalay. Um, kapag nag-shade kayo, pakishade ng maayos, para at least kapag in-scan ko, mas madaling ma-check ng ating uh, scanner. So, I hope you have learned a lot. I'll see you next week, and God bless. Keep safe.